Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the throttle housing on your string trimmer, make sure the engine has cooled. We recommend performing this procedure with little or no fuel in the tank. Using a T20 Torx bit, unthread the four screws securing the throttle housing. Separate the two halves of the housing and remove the throttle trigger, spring, and the lockout lever. Release the switch wires from the grooves in the housing and disconnect the wires from the switch. Use a small flathead screwdriver to depress the retaining tabs to detach the switch from the housing. You're now ready to prepare the new throttle housing for installation. Align the on-off switch in the new housing and snap it into place. Connect the wires to the terminals. Secure the wires in the grooves in the housing. Position the lower housing on the shaft and insert the throttle cable in the groove. You can use a clamp to hold the housing in place as you reinsert the throttle cable into the trigger. Realign the spring, then align the trigger so the end of the spring inserts into the hole in the trigger. Reposition the lockout lever. Then realign the two halves of the housing. Rethread the screws to hold the assembly together. Refill the fuel tank if necessary, and your string trimmer should be ready for use.